In this tutorial, we will be going over the heating and cooling loads requirements for GLD. GLD has two loads modules, the average block loads module and the zone manager loads module. The average block loads module is ideally suited for when a designer has a total building block load and wants to quickly size a heating and cooling geothermal system. The zone manager loads module is well suited for when a designer has a zone differentiated heating and cooling profile and wishes to design a system with the highest degree of accuracy as well as wishes to design a system that can mix and match water to air and water to water pumps. On the average block loads module, the minimum loads data necessary consists of the peak hourly heating and cooling load as well as the total cumulative annual heating and cooling load. This can be seen through the following data entry process. On the cooling side, let's say that we have a peak cooling load of 300 kBTU per hour, also known as MBTU per hour. Maybe on the heating side, we have a peak of 255. Now we also have the section here, the annual equivalent full load hours. This is merely a formal representation of the total heating and cooling load going into and out of the earth throughout the year. On the cooling side, perhaps we have 1,500 hours. On the heating side, maybe 1,200 hours. If we take this 300 kBTU per hour peak and multiply it by 1,500, that'll give us the total kBTU or MBTU for the entire year. Similarly, on the heating side, if we multiply the 255 by the 1,200, it'll give us our total heating kBTU or MBTU for the entire year. This is the minimum data necessary for designing a system. Designers typically get these data from using a commercial loads program such as the IES software or Train Trace or Carrier Hap. If a designer has more information, they can design a more accurate ground loop heat exchanger. We can click this monthly loads button to see what this is about. Here we see from January through December we have cooling data, total and peak, and heating data, total and peak. If you have this data, you can import it into GLD and design your system. Additionally, GLD can also handle 8760 hourly data for the highest degrees, highest degree of accuracy. You'll also notice that the program is equally conversant with imperial or English units as well as with metric units. That's the average block loads module. The zone manager um, allows you to design a system that has multiple zones. To make data entry simpler though, the zone manager only needs the peak hourly load and the annual equivalent full load hours for each zone. There is no monthly loads information required for the zone manager. And that, in summary, is about the loads requirements for GLD.